Imagine a world millions of years ago, a time when our earliest ancestors roamed the earth. Their world was vastly different from what we know today, a primal landscape filled with untamed wilderness, unfamiliar creatures, and countless challenges. This was the cradle of humanity, the birthplace of our species. Among these early humans were the Australopithecus and Homo habilis. Australopithecus, meaning southern ape, was one of the earliest known ancestors of humans, living around four million years ago. Despite their ape-like appearance, they displayed several human-like traits, including walking upright on two feet. Homo habilis, on the other hand, emerged around two million years ago. Their name, Handyman, reflects the significant leap they made in tool use. They crafted simple stone tools, which they used to butcher meat, a shift that played a crucial role in our evolution. The lifestyle of these early humans was a continuous struggle for survival. They were hunters and gatherers, relying on the land and their skills to find food. They hunted small animals, foraged for plants, and scavenged meat left by other predators. This nomadic lifestyle brought them into constant contact with the harsh realities of their environment. Communication was another critical aspect of their existence. While we don't know exactly how these early humans communicated, they likely used a combination of gestures, sounds, and perhaps even rudimentary forms of language. This ability to communicate was a foundation stone for the complex societies to come, but what made these early humans so special was their ability to adapt. They faced threats from predators, scarcity of food, and harsh climatic conditions, yet they persevered, learned, and evolved, paving the way for future generations. This was the beginning of a journey that would eventually lead to us, modern humans. From these humble beginnings, we have come a long way, and we continue to carry the legacy of those who came before us. Their resilience, ingenuity, and adaptability remain at the core of what it means to be human, reminding us of our roots and our extraordinary journey through time. As time progressed, so did our ancestors' skills and ingenuity. Our survival as a species has always hinged upon our ability to adapt, and nowhere is this more evident than in our mastery of tools and technology. Our journey began with the simplest of tools, hewn from stone and bone. The Homo habilis, often referred to as handyman, was the first of our ancestors to create stone tools. These rudimentary implements were used for a variety of tasks, such as scraping hides, cutting meat, and crushing bones. As we moved forward in time, so did our tools. The Homo erectus, our more advanced predecessor, not only improved upon these early tools, but also invented new ones. They fashioned hand axes, cleavers, and scrapers, demonstrating an understanding of symmetry and balance. These tools were used for hunting, butchering, and woodworking, enabling our ancestors to survive in diverse environments and conditions. The leap from stone to more complex materials such as bone, wood, and eventually metal signaled a significant advancement in our technological evolution. The development of tools like spears, arrows, and eventually the bow and arrow revolutionized hunting and warfare. The mastery of fire, too, played a pivotal role in our progress. It provided warmth, protection, and the ability to cook food, significantly improving our chances of survival. As our ancestors' understanding of the world around them grew, so did their inventiveness. They began to manipulate their environment in unprecedented ways, constructing shelters, crafting clothing, and developing early forms of transportation like the canoe and sled. These early innovations laid the foundation for the technological advancements we benefit from today. From the stone tools of the Homo habilis to the smartphones in our hands, our journey has been a testament to human resilience, creativity, and the relentless pursuit of progress. As we stand on the shoulders of our ancestors, we continue to push the boundaries of what is possible, shaping our world with every step we take. In the vast landscapes of the ancient world, our ancestors formed societies that were complex and organized. These were the hunter-gatherers, the pioneers of human society. Their lives were not simply about surviving, but about living in harmony with the natural world and with each other. Hunter-gatherer societies were largely egalitarian. They believed in the equal distribution of resources, with every member contributing their share to the collective good. These societies were often nomadic, moving with the seasons to find food and resources, making the most of what the land offered. They were masters of adaptation, their survival hinging on their intimate knowledge of their environment. Within these communities, roles were often divided based on gender, but not strictly so. 
men typically took on the role of hunters, using their physical strength and strategic thinking to bring down game. Women, meanwhile, were primarily gatherers collecting fruits, nuts, and roots, which actually made up a significant portion of the diet. But these roles were not rigid. Women hunted and men gathered when necessary. Status in these societies was not necessarily determined by wealth or power, but rather by skill, wisdom, and contribution to the group. The most skilled hunter, the most knowledgeable gatherer, or the wisest elder often held positions of respect and leadership. These societies were not just about survival, but also about cooperation and mutual aid. They understood the value of working together, of sharing resources, and of supporting each other. This spirit of cooperation was the bedrock of their communities, and it's what enabled them to thrive in a world where survival was far from guaranteed. These hunter-gatherer societies were the first steps towards the complex social structures we see today. They laid the groundwork for the development of diverse cultures, social norms, and political systems. They were the laboratories where our ancestors experimented with the ideas of community, cooperation, and leadership. These were the first glimmers of societal organization, the precursors to modern civilizations. A radical shift occurred about 10,000 years ago, a revolution that changed the course of human history. This was the agricultural revolution, a critical moment when our nomadic ancestors transitioned into settled agricultural communities. Before this revolution, humans lived as nomadic hunter-gatherers, constantly on the move in search of food. However, around 10,000 years ago, this all began to change. People started to settle down, cultivating plants and domesticating animals for food. This was the birth of agriculture, a practice that would forever alter the trajectory of human history. Imagine the profound transformation that this must have brought about. No longer did humans have to wander the earth in search of sustenance. Instead, they could sow seeds, tend to their fields, and reap a predictable harvest. This newfound stability allowed people to settle down, leading to the formation of the first permanent human settlements. But the agricultural revolution did more than just change our lifestyle. It also brought about significant changes in social structures. For the first time, humans began to accumulate surplus food, leading to the emergence of trade. Individuals could now specialize in different tasks, leading to the development of different occupations and social roles. This marked the beginning of societal stratification, a concept that still shapes our world today. With agriculture came the need for organization. People had to work together to maintain their fields, manage their resources, and defend their settlements. This necessitated the formation of early forms of government, giving rise to the first civilizations. Let's not forget about technological advancements. The agricultural revolution gave birth to new tools and technologies, such as the plow and irrigation systems. These inventions further boosted agricultural productivity, reinforcing the shift towards settled life. In essence, the agricultural revolution was a pivotal moment that set us on the path towards modern society. It transformed our relationship with the earth, reshaped our social structures, and laid the groundwork for the development of complex civilizations. The advent of agriculture was a turning point, setting the stage for the development of complex societies. With the rise of civilizations, the human intellect began to flourish. As mankind settled into more structured societies, the development of language took a quantum leap. No longer were humans confined to simple gestures and sounds. Language became a vital tool enabling complex thoughts and ideas to be communicated and shared from the primitive pictograms of ancient Sumer to the intricate hieroglyphs of Egypt, writing systems were born, forever changing the course of human history. With language and writing, humans could now record their knowledge, pass down stories, and create laws. This was a revolutionary stride, as it allowed information to be preserved and disseminated across generations. The written word became the cornerstone of education and the catalyst for the evolution of human intellect. Simultaneously, the seeds of mathematics were being sown. In the ancient city of Babylon, the concept of numbers took root. Early humans, driven by the need to keep track of their livestock and grain, developed a basic counting system. This would later evolve into more complex mathematical concepts, including geometry and algebra, which would become instrumental in the progress of humanity. Meanwhile, key events and discoveries were shaping human culture and intellectual development, 
The invention of the wheel, for instance, was not only a remarkable technological breakthrough, but also a testament to man's ingenuity. It revolutionized transportation, trade, and warfare, leaving an indelible mark on human society. In the realm of thought and philosophy, great minds started to question the world around them. From the philosophical discourses of ancient Greece to the scientific inquiries of the Renaissance, human intellect was constantly being challenged and refined. These developments form the bedrock of human culture and continue to shape our world today. They echo in our arts, our sciences, our politics, and our daily lives. Indeed, the cultural and intellectual development of early civilizations is a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the ceaseless march of progress. Our journey from the past to the present is a testament to human resilience and ingenuity. As we trace the path of evolution, we marvel at the remarkable transformation of early hominids to modern humans. The primitive lifestyles of Australopithecus and Homo habilis, marked by hunting and gathering, gave way to more sophisticated ways of living as our ancestors developed tools and technology. These early innovations were the first steps towards the civilization we know today. The mastery of tools was a significant milestone in human evolution. It was not just about survival, but also about shaping the world around us. The invention of tools was a testament to the ingenuity and adaptability of our ancestors, qualities that continue to define us even today. From hunter-gatherer societies, we moved to an agricultural way of life. This shift was monumental, marking the dawn of civilization and the end of our nomadic existence. Agriculture was more than just a means of subsistence. It was the foundation of social structures and the catalyst for cultural development. As we settled down, we began to explore the intellectual realm. The emergence of language, writing, and mathematics marked the beginning of a cultural revolution. These developments were not just about communication or computation, they were the harbingers of a new era of human thought and creativity. Each stage of our evolution has had a profound impact on our present world. Our past shapes our understanding of who we are and where we come from. It helps us appreciate the complexity of our journey and the challenges we have overcome. But understanding our past is not just about appreciating our present, it's about planning for our future. By studying our history, we can anticipate future challenges and prepare ourselves to meet them. We can use the lessons of our past to guide our decisions and actions in the present. As we look back at our journey, we realize that we are not just a product of our past, but also architects of our future. Our story is a fascinating tale of survival, innovation, and progress. We've journeyed from the dawn of humanity, tracing the footsteps of our earliest ancestors, the Australopithecus and Homo habilis. We've seen how they survived, how they hunted, gathered, and began to communicate in rudimentary ways. Their lives, while starkly different from ours, were the foundation of our existence. We've followed the evolution of tools and technology, witnessing the birth of innovation. Our ancestors' ability to manipulate their environment, to create tools for survival, was a turning point in our history. It was their ingenuity that set the stage for us to become the dominant species on Earth. We've explored the lives of hunter-gatherer societies, uncovering the complexities of their social structures, their ways of life. These societies were the cradle of human cooperation, the birthplace of our social instincts. Their lessons of adaptation and resilience still resonate with us today. We've seen the emergence of agriculture and early civilizations, the transition from nomadic lifestyles to settled communities. We've seen how the advent of agriculture transformed societies, shaping our world in profound ways. It was a revolution that redefined human existence, fostering the development of complex societies and cultures. We've delved into the cultural and intellectual development of humanity, the emergence of language, writing, and mathematics. These key elements of human culture and intellectual pursuit have been instrumental in shaping our modern society. They have been our tools for understanding and making sense of the world around us. Our journey has been a voyage through time, a testament to our resilience, our ingenuity, and our relentless pursuit of progress. The story of our evolution is not just a chronicle of our past, but a blueprint of our present. It helps us understand who we are, where we come from, and why we behave the way we do. It is a mirror that reflects our strengths, our weaknesses, our triumphs, and our failures. But our journey doesn't end here. History is an ongoing narrative, a story that continues to unfold. Each discovery, each revelation adds a new layer to our understanding, 
It encourages us to ponder, to question, to seek. It beckons us to delve deeper, to explore further, to unravel the mysteries of our past. And as we continue this exploration, let's remember that our past is not just a series of events, but a tapestry of human experiences. It is a treasure trove of knowledge that can help us navigate our present and shape our future. It is a testament to our resilience, our creativity, our capacity for change. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. Remember, the past is a treasure trove of knowledge, and the more we learn, the better we understand ourselves and the world around us.